What's up, my good family? Welcome back to Mac Music Review. Before we hop into the review, just wanted to say there's going to be some stuff down in the description if you're interested in the channel, where I get my reviews from, um, other, other boring information you can find in the description for this video. Today we are going to be looking at the instrumental version of the album Worthy by Beautiful Eulogy. Beautiful Eulogy is a underground, very little heard of, um, Christian hip-hop kind of group. They're uh, basically the backbone of Humble Beast Records. They produce uh, tons of the projects that are released through Humble Beast. They produce tons of the albums that, or they have a hand in producing some of them like do produce some of the songs or most of the songs for Humble Beast albums and they basically perfectly represent what Humble Beast Records is their music is very creative and original and high quality and the lyrics are very faith and God focused they have a very strong emphasis on theology and God and faith and super creative music and that's basically what Humble Beast Records is all about. The instrumental version of this album, actually the album in general, the album Worthy has 12 songs on it. It's not as long as Instrumentals of Mercy or Instruments of Mercy, but um, 12 songs. So you still have a, you have a pretty good, a fair amount of music. Some songs are very short and others are pretty long. So you have some diversity in the track length as well. As far as popularity goes, uh, it doesn't exist. This album, I don't have Spotify, but I bet it has like less than like 100,000 listens. Probably less than that. Probably less than 50,000 listens. I'm sure the instrumental version of this album, maybe even less than that. I'm sure it's very, very unpopular. These guys are very underground, very little heard of, very little known. The music on the instrumental version of Worthy is just oh yeah and this is an instrumental version i need to, i should say this i mean it goes without saying but i'm gonna say it anyway there are no lyrics on this album there are some vocal effects there is singing but they don't sing any words it's like what arcade fire does in their music where it's just kind of singing for the effect of it's singing used as music and they have that on some of the songs on this album but this thing the music is extremely complex, it's multi-layered, they use a ton of different instruments and sound effects. But this album differs from Instrumentals of Mercy in that it's more atmospheric. The music has more of an atmospheric, kind of spaced out vibe going for it. And yeah, it's more atmospheric, more spacey, more slow, a little bit more calm, and just kind of creates this kind of feeling and uh, like like kind of I don't know it's kind of hard to describe it, it was hard for me to describe instrumentals of mercy and it's equally difficult to describe uh, this album a great example of the long slow spacey atmospheric vibe of this album it's not the, the vibe doesn't go throughout the entire album but it is more prevalent than than it the, the spacey sounding music is much more prevalent here than it was on Instrumentals of Mercy. A great example of this spacey atmospheric sound is the song Sovereign. The song is like four minutes long and it's just kind of really slow and the music doesn't really change a whole lot throughout the song and it just has a very atmospheric kind of vibe and feel to it. Sound and yeah. You also have a song on here that's very different, that's more upbeat and sounds more like Instrumentals of Mercy, which is the song Messiah. And I said more upbeat because there's more going on and it's a, it's a noisier song, I would say. More more energy, more energetic. But it's it actually has a very dark vibe going forward at the beginning of the song. And then it's just piano at the beginning of the song and then later these, um, like the the vocals kick in and it, get, and it kind of picks up. And, and then you get strings, and you have the vocals, and you have the piano, and you get, then you get other sound effects, and computer generated things, and, and like a hip hop beat, and it's, it, it's a great song. Messiah is a great example of the complexity and multi-layeredness of the music 
on this album. Now, is this album good or is it bad or is it a little bit of both? Let's talk about that. Worthy Instrumentals, this album, feels alive. The music is big, it's pulsating, it breathes. This record feels like it's a living thing. It's so... The music is so amazing. The music sounds so good. It's extremely, as I already said, the music is complex and multi-layered and amazing sounding, insanely well produced, extremely complex, extremely intricate, and just a beautiful record. Beautiful music. Um, it Honestly, this record does sound amazing, but it doesn't sound as good as Instrumentals of Mercy, which I gave a perfect score. Because the instrumental version of the album Worthy, like I said, it's more spacey and slower and atmospheric. And because of this, you don't get this concrete energy and concrete coolness. It's more like... It's... It's not as enjoyable of a record because of the tone and because of the atmospheric tone and feeling of the record. It's just not as fun or enjoyable or as good sounding in my opinion. And it's actually not just my opinion. The website uh, Jesus Freak Music Hideout, uh, they review a lot of Christian music, underground Christian music that you probably never heard of, uh, music that most people don't know about or talk about. And they criticize the music of this album pretty harshly in the main review. I just read it. But, honestly, I like it a lot more than the guy who wrote that review did, than the website did, because I think the music on this thing is amazing. It's just not as enjoyable, not as lively and powerful, not as powerful as the music on Instrumentals of Mercy. Still, I'm going to give this album 4.5 stars out of 5. Man, this video was so repetitive. <laughs> If you man, if you watch the the review for Instrumentals of Mercy, I basically said all of the exact same things. I literally just like recycled like what I said in that review because it's basically it has a lot of the same things. It's just it's slightly different, but that level of quality and the multi-layeredness and the different tools they use to make the instruments, I mean the different tools they make to you use to make the music, it's all very similar, but so and they're both instrumental albums, so I didn't talk about the lyrics on both. So very similar reviews. They actually, I just noticed this, they actually have, um, their debut album, Satellite Kite. They actually have an instrumental version of that album. I feel like just to keep up, like, cause I've already reviewed like two instrumental albums by these guys. I feel like I should just like review, I, sh I feel like I should also review the instrumental version for Satellite Kite. You know, even though I could review the one that has lyrics, but I don't want to because I reviewed two instrumental albums. Let's get the third out of the way. But of course... That's after we get done all these other reviews that I have in store for you guys. I mean, you one person that's watching this video. So, um, thanks. Have a good one.